Are we ready to meditate with Kari? First of all, if you haven't done so already, climb up into bed. Get yourself all tucked in. Make sure that you're comfortable and you're laying down in a favorite position. One that feels right just for you. It's time to let your little body start to relax and slow down and get comfortable. It's time to try and be still and quiet. I want to tell you all about a very special farm in the middle of a tiny, quaint little village in England. The farmers were called Mr. and Mrs. Littlebottom, and they were very sweet people. They loved all the animals on the farm very much, and they took care of them really, really well. There was one animal on the farm called Jasmine, and Jasmine was a lamb. That means she was a baby sheep. She wasn't very old at all. Unfortunately, when Jasmine was born, something happened to her mum, and she ended up being raised with the goats. There isn't that much difference between goats and lambs, but on this particular farm, there were quite a few differences you should know about. Jasmine was raised with three very small boy goats. One was called Billy, the other was called Millie, and the other was called Bo. Millie was called Millie because the mummy goat wanted a girl and unfortunately the three goats came out as boys. But she didn't mind, she was going to call one of them a girl's name anyway, so Billy, Millie and Bo. Billy, Millie and Bo were born around the same time as Jasmine, so they were growing up together and they were very good friends. But there was a slight problem. The problem was Jasmine thought she was a goat. She didn't think she was a lamb. She thought she was a goat. And almost every day, one of her brothers found something to say that made her feel like she didn't quite fit in. You're not a goat, said Billy. How many times do I have to say it? You're a lamb. You're not a goat. Jasmine would say, yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm a goat, just like you're a goat. Even though she knew she had some differences, she didn't think that that mattered. She still felt like they were her three brothers, and that was her mum, and, and she had just as much right to be a goat as everyone else. Billy would say, You don't burr. 
Have you not noticed? We, ba, ba. You don't do that, Jasmine. You say, ma, ma. There isn't any difference. Oh yes, there is," said Billy. We say b b b, and you say m m m. It's very different. Millie would always point out that Jasmine had curly, woolly fur. And Billy and Millie and Bo had straight hair, not woolly fur. Isn't it obvious? Millie would say, "You're all furry and soft and snuggly. We're more straight-haired and slightly prickly. Can't you tell the difference? I love you anyway, Jasmine, but can't you tell the difference?" Jasmine would just shake her little head. Of course, I can tell the difference, but and she'd shake her head. It doesn't matter. I'm still a goat. Bo would said, "Look, this is a major difference. Your tail always goes down." Turn around and see if you can see your tail, Jasmine. Your tail always goes down. It points down to the ground. Turn around and look at my tail, Jasmine. Bo would say, "My tail most of the time points up." You're not a goat. You're a lamb. Jasmine would just shake her little head. I know. I see it. I see the difference. But that doesn't matter. And she'd shake her head the whole time. It doesn't matter because I know I'm a goat. One day on the farm, Mister Little Bottom was making lots of changes. He was changing things on the farm, and he was changing the layout. And he'd been designing for quite some time that there was a watering hole in the middle of the farm where all the animals could go and feed every day. This would mean he would have to go out there less early in the morning and fill everyone's water pails up. If he had a watering hole, that would mean all the cows, the chickens, the lambs, the pigs, the goats, everyone would be able to go and get water whenever they wanted. It was like a, a tiny little pond in the middle of the farm that was quite deep, deep enough to swim in if you needed to, but there was so much fresh water in there. It was finally finished. Finally, Mr. Little Bottom had finished his pond, his watering hole, and it was time for him to remove the makeshift fence that he'd had around it for quite some time now, while while it was being built, so none of the animals would go near it and maybe fall into it and get hurt. It was all ready. Mrs. Littlebottom came out for the grand opening, and as the final part of the fence was taken down, all of the animals watched. They were all intrigued at what was happening. He made some noises, blew some whistles. And most of the animals recognized what he was doing, and all started to come towards Mr. Littlebottom. Mrs. Littlebottom was so excited. She was got her hand over her mouth, and she was just holding her breath, 
waiting to see what the animals would think. Jasmine, Billy, Millie and Bo all went to the watering hole. All the pigs, all the chickens, all of their friends went to the watering hole. There was one point where Jasmine, Millie, Billy and Bo all seemed to lean over the pond to go for a drink of water at the same time when suddenly they all saw their reflection. For the first time they'd never seen that much water before. Normally they drank out of small buckets and you don't really get to see yourself in a small bucket. Jasmine stared. She stared at the reflection and looked at her brother's reflections, looked at her own reflection. It was in that moment that she realized she wasn't a goat. Not physically. It was in that moment that she saw she was a lamb, just like her brothers had been telling her all along. It was in that moment that she decided it didn't matter anyway. It didn't matter if she looked like a lamb or was a lamb or if her fur was curly and woolly or if her tail pointed down or if she said meh instead of burr. In that moment she actually was the happiest that she'd ever been. She wasn't sad. She didn't feel different. She didn't feel left out. She didn't feel alone. She knew in her heart that they were her brothers and they loved her. She knew her mummy goat loved her and she knew that she could be a goat in her mind if she wanted to be a goat and nothing was going to stop her. She leant forward and took a drink from the watering hole and her brothers took that to mean that she was just fine and she wasn't going to freak out. They all looked at each other and smiled and they took a drink from the watering hole and everything was just fine. Bo said to Millie, and Billy. Well, I'm so happy. I'm so happy that Jasmine is okay because she has the fluffiest, warmest, snuggliest, furry, woolly jacket, coat. And I love snuggling up to my sister at night time. And if she was going to be upset, then maybe she wouldn't let us do that anymore. Now I know she loves us and she's going to be just fine about it. That night, they fell to sleep just like they normally do. Jasmine always lays down first. Billy, Millie and Bo all lay down and put their heads on her tummy which makes the softest, snuggliest pillow ever. And her wool is warm and snuggly and it always smells good. They love their sister, whether she's a lamb or not. Now, how cool is that?
Time for sleep, my little friend. Close your eyes and let your head start to get heavy. Let your head finally rest on your pillow, just like Billy, Millie, and Bo rest their heads on Jasmine. You can imagine with your eyes closed that you're snuggling into a fluffy, white, soft, furry little lamb, just like lamb just like Jasmine. Make sure you let your neck and the back of your head relax. Let your chest get heavy and relax. Your shoulders. Imagine your shoulders getting very, very heavy and sleepy as if you had big, heavy pillows laying on your shoulders. Imagine them relaxing completely into your bed. Let your chest relax and notice when you breathe in and you breathe out how your tummy and your chest rises and falls. Rises and falls just like the waves of the ocean up and down, up and down, let your breath and your body be very, very still, start to help you to fall into a much more peaceful state of mind. Let all your busy thoughts go out of your head. Imagine them flying up out of your ears, up into the sky, far, far away. So all you're doing is just laying and relaxing. You're safe, you're warm and snuggly. You can put your hand on your tummy and feel your tummy and let your belly relax. Sometimes it feels nice to just rub your tummy in tiny little circles. This will help you start to relax even more. And it's also nice for your tummy. Relax your hips, relax your legs, your knees, your ankles, your toes. So your legs feel super duper heavy, but it feels very nice. Keep imagining that you're snuggling into Jasmine and she's warm and soft and cozy. Maybe if you have a teddy bear, you can snuggle your head into your teddy. Take a nice deep breath. <sighs> sleepy, sleepy time.
everyone on the farm is probably asleep by now. All the chickens will be sleeping. They'll have a busy day tomorrow laying their eggs, so they need the sleep, don't they? The pigs will probably be laid down sleeping, so tomorrow they can play in the mud and eat lots of yummy foods. The goats are definitely asleep. Billy, Millie and Bo have been asleep a long time on Jasmine already. Jasmine's asleep. The cows are all asleep, laid down in the field. Everyone is sleeping soundly until the sun rises in the morning and wakes them all up again. Life is very, very sweet. On Mr. and Mrs. Little Bottom's farm in the village in England in the middle of nowhere.